Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Lotro with me, Barfelian. So today we are slightly east of where we ended up last time. Uh, we're just east of the town of Aberdeen uh, and the eastern part of the Stark Moor. Um, so we're kind of on this hill at the moment, which is our odd quest out from the others. Um, this quest is for the one to collect the hay uh, that we had for the Stable Master. Um, so as you can see, there will be loads of flashing piles of hay up here. And we just need to grab six of them. And there should easily be more than six around. Um, but this is the odd quest out because all the other quests should be around the, the great big rock to the east of town where all the, uh, the wargs live. So um, we'll just grab six of these and then we'll take a wander over there. Um, yeah, I can't remember who, which, which clan it was at, at, uh, at Aberdeen. Were they the Boar clan? I'm not sure. I'd... They'll, they'll blend together after a while. Um, I'm trying to think what ones we got. We, we haven't met the Avonkloof yet. They're the guys we're going to meet in the bog. Um, the Stag Clan is the ones that we met in um, Trumdreng up in the northwest. Uh, the Karuloof or something like that. Um, that's the Stag Clan. Um, we've got the, the Deeply Outcasts. Who don't belong to any clan. They've basically been like, cast aside and formed their own kind of outcast tribe. Um, the Dragloof, we see them cropping out around everywhere. Um, they're kind of all around everywhere, really. Uh, I don't know if they have like, a permanent settlement that we see. But we do bump into them in various other like, small settlements. They kind of have a little outpost all over the place, basically. Um, who else have we got? we got the... The Falcon Clan, the Hebog Loof that we, we've seen recently. Um, yeah, the, the Boar Clan, the Turk Loof. I'm not sure if that's the Aberdeen people or not. I'm guessing it probably is. Because I think the Ox Clans are the, are the ones that originated in Caraglin. But they've kind of got a bit of a caste system going on over there. Um, and then the Ukloof, the, the the Ox Clan. I think those were the ones that were mainly around Galtra. There we go, dead cow. So yeah, we need to collect four cattle tags from uh, dead cows around here. They should all be around the base of the cliff. Um, we have... Uh, need to collect eight stones. Again, that should be vaguely around the edges of the cliff. Let's just grab all these boys. Uh, we need to collect Holmgratz too, so he's the, like the King Wag. He's up on the top, very top of the rock. We have to climb up there afterwards. Um, we have to generically kill eight of the the beasts. Um, so these ones, these black ones down the bottom, will count. The, the wolves don't count. Hello, this one's running along here. Not sure if he's deliberately coming to me or whether he's just trolling around and ran into me. Um, Right, so grab all these then. But yeah, at this point, so we've done one, two, three, four. This is the fifth region we're doing. And then we've got six, seven, eight parts of the, the actual Dunland part of the region. Um, then there's three parts to the Gap of Rohan. And then Isengard. Um, so it is quite a big region. There is quite quite a lot to, to do in this uh, in this expansion. But by and large, it kind of has to be done one thing after the other in order to open up all the quest chains. You can't just, you know, decide, oh, I'm over-leveled here, let's go to the next town, because you might not have anything opened up yet. Which is the one kind of downside of this region. Um, that's seven stones. That'd be eight stones. Uh, so we need three more wargs and the boss one. So we'll start heading upstairs now. And we can probably drag a few of these boys with us. So we just run up here, activate a bit of a speed buff. But yeah, he should be, there he is, looking right out of the top. He's basically doing his best Lion King impression. Um, so we'll, we'll go for these two boys. I think the first one might actually reset. I think I've probably yeah, I've dragged him too far. Um, but the boss should count as a normal one as well. You're going to shoot him. There we go. Okay, he's going to do his howl. Okay, well, I might have killed your, your friends by the time you joined the fight. Um, yeah, we'll focus on you mainly. 
He's a signature, so he's going to be a bit tougher. So if you struggle against signatures on level, just be careful. Okay, he's dead, so he does count. We can loot this corpse of this poor fellow that seems to have uh, wandered up to him and then died. Yeah, it's like the, like the Lion King cliff here, isn't it? Um, so we need one more. Yeah, there'll be one down there. And then we're going to head back to town, so ski down this cliff. Actually, this one's just respawned. You'll do then, sir. The other one's got a reprieve for now. And he's done me. Lovely. There we go. So we do that. So now we go back to town. I think there's only one set of quests that we need to do for each of the NPCs. Um, to make them happy to go to the auction. I don't think there's any other follow-ups. I might be wrong. Um, but I can't think of anything off the top of my head. So I think after this we should have the auction instance. Which is interesting because it's given rise to one of the biggest memes in Lotro. Um, which we'll see when we get there. Um, there's probably this and uh, the one about the Batcave in Moria. That people could never find. Um, so they used to say, where's the Batcave? And everyone would go, underneath Gotham City. Which probably isn't strictly accurate because it's outside of Gotham City. But whatever. Um, jokes and banter. This would do perfectly now to find ourselves some horses. So he's going to have a follow up, but he's not part of the auction quest. We should not trust Not long after the boy left, we had a terrible storm. The lightning frightened the horses and they bolted knocking the gates down and fleeing into the plains. Now is the time to gather the horses back up. Now actually, hang on, let's stop a minute. They, they said they said recently they've had a terrible storm lightning frightened the horses. Could that possibly be um, Saruman causing the storm at the Redhorn Pass that forced the Fellowship to go into Moria? It might be a bit, bit too long ago in the timeline for where we are. But who knows, it could be. Um, Saruman doing his storms. It's, uh, it's a known problem. Uh, now is the time to gather the horses back up. They are prone to flight, and you will need to ride them back if you want to get them in here in time. You can find them all over the moors grazing. You should not need more than a few to get back up and running. So luckily you don't actually need to collect any horses before you can use the Stable Master. Um, but we will see on our map now, so this will be our red quest. Um, so you can see there's loads of quest rings floating around. Um, now we need to bring back four horses? Three horses. So you can see there's at least six quest rings floating around that we have to bring back to the centre of town. Um, so that's easy enough to do. Um, we'll head around handing all these other bits first though. Uh, are you going to interact with me sir? Greetings! Will you remain here long? With this, my necklace will be noticed by everyone. You will command respect and power when you wear it. I will come to your auction. There we go, one convinced. Number two. I can tell from the stench upon you that you have been fighting wargs, and given that you are standing here, I assume you were victorious. I will attend the auction. Success. That's number two. Um... Third person was over here, and then the fourth one was in the southwest. I have heard the wails of the Kufral in the night. Yes, these were indeed mine. These should bring a good price. I will attend your auction. It's not my auction. I'm only helping out a friend who's got to sell his stuff at auction, so I just need uh, you know a few more people to turn up and buy stuff. And then lastly, we've got Ava. You're welcome here, as long as you do not trouble us. With these, I can make an enclosure that will keep my livestock safe. I will attend your auction. So she's building a, a enclosure with eight stones, if you remember correctly. Um, that's probably not even enough to like entomb a chicken. <laughs> Never mind, make it a pen. Um, so over to Bedwer then. The oak we rod requires us to give welcome to Devodiard. So, the merchants are all willing to come to the auction. It appears this may be my most profitable auction yet, then. So we have a pair of trousers, which we just equip some vests. Okay, those trousers are very plain. 
Um, they, they do give me uh, a tight, firm ass, though, so um, if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, shoulder pads, nothing too fancy. Fairly plain, do they die nicely? Um, shoulders, make them red, maybe. No. So, yeah, the side bits are the more interesting bit. I'm not too keen on the, uh, like the little roby bit at the top, little scarf kind of thing going on there. Uh, and then lastly we have some gauntlets, which again are fairly plain, so nothing too fancy there. Um, so we should be able to start Even the auction. The have need of help on occasion. Everything is prepared, Pendulous. You have secured enough merchants to attend the auction that I feel comfortable with how much this knight will yield for me. I have gone through Andras's goods and believe that if he gets a fair value, he should be able to honour his debts, even after my share is paid. Speak with me when you are ready to attend the auction. So as usual, this is going to be a solo quest, so you might need to ditch your fellowship. And he's lagging. There we go. Are you ready to begin? So yeah, see if you can spot the meme. All is ready for the auction. It is an event not unlike a warrior's arena, for my clan is accustomed to waging war with words and coin. I see that you are all here, and I assume ready to begin. Andras even brought his boy with him. I hope his wares fetch such a price that it is not embarrassing. Shall we begin then? Thank you all for attending today. We have several lots up for auction. Sit down on the front row. We will begin the... The, we will open the bidding on the first lot, a cart full of goods from the northern lands. The Falcon Clan bids six. Here we go, we got some uh, some dudes flanking Saruman the White. Or formerly the White. Saruman the Many Coloured now. Play it cool, Pendulous. Don't let him know that you're on to him. But you get to see he's, uh, he's kind of like... Got this kind of like iridescent effect as well. He's kind of shiny with many colours. I trust I am not too late to join. Of course not. We have just started on a new lot. A card of valuables from the north. Isengard bids five. The Falcon Clan bids eight. Isengard bids five. The Falcon Clan bids ten. Isengard bids five. <laughs> you can probably guess where this is going. So to Isengard for five. The next lot will be a set of cattle registration tags. No, I will not stand for this. You have poisoned our clan for too long, wizard. You are destroying the Ukluf. Father, please, this is not the place. You have done nothing but prosper as a clan with my guidance and advice. If you disagree, perhaps we should continue this conversation elsewhere. Come, be my guest at Isengard, and I will show you all that I have done for your people. The boy stays. These are conversations for adults. You would not want him to get caught up in the things above his station, would you? I tire of this. We leave now. Please, watch after my boy. I beg you all, see that he is safe. Father, no! No one ever comes back. Please! I will watch over the boy. He will be safe with the clan, says the suspicious auction master. Now, back to business. You know the views of the clan, Mabon. A debt is a debt. This sale did not bring in enough to clear your father's debt. As such, it is now your debt. Once this auction is finished, we can discuss how you will begin to repay it. How can this be happening? We just came to make a sale. What a bastard. Um, so talk to Pedro. But yeah, Isengard bids five is the meme. Literally anyone selling something in world chat, all you'll see now is Isengard bids five. Um, so yeah, that in the back cave are probably the two biggest memes in Lotter, I'd say. Uh, it is commendable that you wish to aid the boy, 
but I must finish the other lots before we can discuss an arrangement. So what were they selling it for? Five gold? Because we could easily pay that off. The boy will pay his father's debt, whether through the war camps or the mines, I will get what is owed to me. Yeah, he's not a nice guy, this, this bedwer, is he? The Oop Weirod requires us to give welcome to Devodion. It is always a pleasure to do business with Saruman of many colours, and always a mistake to challenge a wizard. The debt is now the sons to bear and pay. He will work it off, beginning today. Uh, so we have the option of some gauntlets, fairly plain with some leather straps on them, or a necklace or a ring. It is not our custom to trust Devodiad, but perhaps you may be of help to me? Saruman cheated me out of much money with this last auction. You cannot go against the wizard. Once he names his price, the purchase is finished, whether it is fair or not. At the end of the day, however, I will always get paid. The goods he purchased are travelling by caravan south to Wolf's Cleft. I do not know whether they plan to stay there or head further to Isengard, but I do know that they will not make it. You will intercept them before they reach the camp. Head south and follow the road. When you find them, be quick about it. They are evil men and do not deserve any quarter. Bring back the goods you find there. Once this is done, there is only one more task I will require of you before the boy will be considered free of his debt. So we're actually going to be working towards helping free the boy for his own good. Um, so we need to collect goods from the road to the south, uh, which is literally all the way down there, that little yellow circle that you might not be able to see too well. But for our next trick, we need to go and find some horses. So um, we're going to go slightly northeast for our first horse. That's probably the closest one to the stable master, this one up here. Um, so we're just right off into the distance, and you should be able to see a glowing horse somewhere. Um, and you literally just need to interact with it. You'll start riding that horse rather than your own horse, so it will be quite slow. Um, there he is. Um, and then we have to run back to the stable master, and then we have to do that two more times for other horses. So. Swap over to this one, and we can ride it back. So as you can see, it's just called a wild horse. Um, you will obviously still get attacked by any hostile creatures that you go next to. It's just as if you're you're riding your own horse. Um, if you get dismounted, you're going to have to go pick one up again. So try to avoid mobs if you're going to get drawn into a fight, because um, an unlucky crit will pretty much instantly dismount you. Um, so ride this one back. There we go, into the pen. That's one of three. And then we need two, we need three. So I'll tell you what, let's go um, down. We'll collect the goods from down here and then we'll get the horse on the way back. And that will save us um, a little bit of riding at least. Um, yeah, we can't see too well at the moment. Um, but you can see in the distance we've got these like big big mountains and there's a little valley path which goes through to the area known as Wolf's Cleft um, where the dun lendings are up to no good that's the horse we'll be getting on the way back um, so remember it's right next to a big rock um, but yeah they're up, they're up to no good um, and you'll see when we, we kind of get around to that region they, they kind of employed some new um, technology for, for making um, armies look bigger and stuff like that <clears throat> which was kind of like the, the precursor to, to the work that they eventually did on the on the epic battles so <coughs> you'll see that soon enough anyway right so we need four crates there's plenty enough in this encampment we don't actually need to kill these orcs but they're in the own way so we'll just grab them up aoe them all down now they are fat orcs so they're probably going to start casting heals there we go I probably could have interrupted that myself to be honest so they've got heal effects on them. Now if I hit them, it's going to apply heals to them. So we'll just wait until that time's out. Although I seem to be also attacking them back anyway. There we go. Bad them off. Probably could have used my horn before they got that off, to be fair. I'm just too lazy. So I pick up four boxes. There's more than four available. Um... 
Okay, I don't know why it just said you do not have the correct amount of fervor. And I'm trying to pick up a box, but whatever. There we go. I like how these these uh, horses have kind of put like cave claw masks on them. It is like a cave claw, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't that one of the festival horses that are like that? Also, they're kind of like splayed out. <laughs> the towels are sticking straight out. Um, Alright, let's crank this guy. He's probably going to start healing. We'll clobber him if he does. No, he's dead. Fantastic. So, mount back up. And then we'll go stop on the way back to grab that horse that's by the rock. And then after that we'll need one more horse. Um, we can see that we've now got a Orc Slayer deed that has popped up. So this is the first time we've seen some Orcs in Dundund. Um, and a bull has spawned right next to me. How lovely. Um, so we'll quickly murder this. Um, but yeah, later on you'll get a lot more Orcs and Urukai. Um, because obviously as you get closer and closer to Isengard, you're dealing directly with Isengard's forces. As opposed to that of the, the Dunlending clans, which pretty much take up most of Dunland, as you might expect, uh, given the name. So, um, you know, as usual, the, the mobs tend to change depending on where you are in the region. Um, so yeah, we think we've got a few more Slayers that we've got to unlock. We, we wouldn't have unlocked the uruk Slayer yet, I don't think. Um, no, this is this rock. Um, but then we've possibly got, I don't know if we've got a, an Avanc Slayer in the bogs, maybe, something like that. Um, so we'll probably unlock a few more Slayer deeds. So this will be horse number two. So we'll ride this back. Um, try not to get into a fight. And then where are we going to get our third horse? I don't think you can ride horses from the same location twice. I might be wrong. Um, I can't say I've ever tried to be honest. Um, unless I've maybe done it by accident once. So we're going to take this one back, mount up. Uh, let's go southwest then, this other one that's kind of in the direction we were just going. Um, but this one's kind of like more in the direction of the road down to um, the Dunbog. So pretty much in this direction. It shouldn't be too far away. And avoid that ball because it's hostile. We learnt that the hard way. Um, there it is. So mount up horsey number three. And uh, yeah, they'll have enough horses. Now theoretically they could, I suppose, ride these horses to, to go looking around for the other ones and collect the other ones themselves. Um, they don't explicitly say that that's what they're going to do, but it would make sense. Um, but at the very least, that you know, they can lend these horses to people that want to use the stables to ride to, to Gautrev or wherever else. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, we also have a quest in the middle of town there as well, which we haven't picked up yet. There we go, jump over there, speak to the stable guy. This is wonderful. Now that we have the horses, I can renew the stable's business. Is there anywhere you would like to go? So what have we got? An elaborate dagger sheath, um, which is a pocket item apparently. Uh, we've got some gloves, nothing too fancy, a bit of a scaly sort of pattern. Um, or some big metal shoulder pads if you want to go for like a big armoured look. Um, so we'll just take that. And then I think that's probably about a good spot to stop here for the day then. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and until next time, see you later.